Great Mother speaks to us through us. And in these readings on a collective unconscious level, in the shadows she cast in each moon phase, chakra, variant God and goddess energy, and seen from the Wizard of Oz in Dorothy's narrative, the poster child of Mama Drama Trauma, as illustrated in the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck, based on the 49 scenes of her journey to live MDT free. What is MDT? Mama Drama Trauma is a condition in which the mother projects unhealed aspects of herself onto her child, causing emotional and or physical trauma. In cases when the mother is unwilling, unable, or unavailable to heal, it is my recommendation as a professional life coach to live in loving detachment. And this is what my work does. I support people in living in loving detachment. This is the most basic, most fundamental type of loving detachment, but it's useful in all phases of our life. For more information about that, you can click the information box below. And if you would like to learn more about this deck and how to work with it to develop your empathic and or intuitive abilities to live in loving detachment, check the information box below where you see how to read deck classes. Each new moon begins a new emotional healing cycle. Here we focus on MDT. Great Mother speaks to each sign about the supportive energies available to it as a collective consciousness and offers guidance for internal activation of this subtle yet powerful support. Look for your special Great Mother Speaks reading, especially for your sign's new moon, to hear how to further enhance the success of your new lunar year plans and wishes. These readings are entitled Sun in Your Moon Sign Readings. Where was the moon when you were born? This new moon, a partial solar eclipse, is on the cusp of Aquarius Pisces. The western ego emotion earth centric moon is conjunct Venus and the south node, bringing to light Piscean tendencies to control emotions for the highest good of the group, social network, or friends, assuming one knows what that is. While the intuitive downloads from the Capricorn moon and the sidereal cosmically correct soul astrology may be bringing up a need to finesse the current situation more to your benefit by shrewdly releasing those people-pleasing qualities unconsciously responsible for creating relationship and group dynamic problems in the first place. For instance, instead of modifying your behavior to prevent a perceived negative outcome, lighten up. Imagine yourself at peace no matter what happens instead. If this seems far-fetched, perhaps you are over-relying on the buy-in and approval of others at this time, and the energies are pointing to a need to redefine the terms of your health, wholeness, and happiness by taking full responsibility for your thoughts, decisions, and actions dictating the terms of your experience of this birthright. This is what this partial solar eclipse is all about. This Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, new moon energy is dealing with whatever remaining internal MDT issues came up for release during the lunar eclipse, this past full moon reading. They are now externally shining their light in the Aquarius sun and spilling over into your life in ways you are now more equipped to address. Great Mother's lunar south node energies at the Aquarius cusp and in K2, the sidereal south node conjunct Capricorn, gives us poise, grace, and the ability to admit or and articulate our most sincere wants and needs to ourselves and others in practical yet loving ways. Because a partial solar eclipse, Great Mother Moon does not totally eclipse the sun, the sun's shadows will not be felt as intensely. Great Father expressed as 
physical action and material life, the law, the logos, the word, in the masculine sign of Aquarius will be powerfully felt with Mercury solar conjunction in Aquarius in both the Western and sidereal astrology, emphasizing the abundance of support available to us all for graciousness, beautiful and loving communication exchanges. Great Mother is subtle, unseen. She is, in fact, the comforter, the Holy Spirit the Christ spoke of, that still small voice, our intuition, knowing what we know we know. Of course, emotions is how the ego communicates to its higher self, and intuition is how the soul communicates to the ego. Great Mother is the moon, especially this new moon version of the sun and the moon in the same sign when she is embracing the earth in the blackness of her bosom. To reduce her to only mere emotion is to not recognize her sheer energy of uncontrollable freedom, darkness, and mystery she is within us. That still, unfamiliar, little understood or even known birthright of happiness, wholeness, and health we intuitively cling to and why we are here to hear from her do the signs and symbols of this birth moon reading. Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn Moon people to your February New Moon reading. Great Mother is speaking to you from your first, second, and third houses predominantly. So one, two, three, right? Of course, Saturn is in your first lunar house and Sagittarius is where Saturn is in the sidereal and so what we have is a situation where the great teacher is present making sure you are on time you are on schedule for your sole purpose this lifetime during this total solar eclipse this partial pulling of the shadows of course solar eclipses have to do with great mother showing us our shadows those inconvenient truths those unspoken realities we'd rather not face and certainly don't want other people to know there are shadows that keep us from growing that keep us from loving that keep us from living but they're also portals of opportunities to transform and to heal those shadows for greater life, love, and abundance. And so Great Mother is coming through for you with regard to your identity, partial shadows that she wants to show you regarding your values, maybe areas in which there is a need for clear communication or there is communication that does not need to take place at this time. Um, let's see what she's saying to you about the first, second, and third houses. Of course, in your first house of this um, energy of this Capricorn Aquarius moon, I'm calling it, because it is an Aquarius Pisces cusp moon in the Western astrology. And so a very emotional uh, time. It's also a time of a lot of Venetian, uh, Venusian rather, uh, energy, loving energy, uh, but high emotions. And this is for you having to do with a lot of communicative opportunities as it relates to downloads that you have received from your soul, the sidereal in Sagittarius where we find Capricorn in your second house. Okay, the moon is in Capricorn in the sidereal and it's ruled by the nakshatra Shravana which is all about being very shrewd, very pious, caring, and loving. And so 
What is it about this download that you're receiving about communicating your values that needs to be shrewd? What is it that you were intuiting needs to be spoken um, or shared on some level or not shared? Let's see. Great Mother's coming through for you and she's saying that in your position of how you're approaching this new moon, Sagittarius Capricorn people, you're approaching it with acknowledgement. You're acknowledging some form of abandonment or abuse. Of course, the Great Mother Speaks Oracle Deck was designed for those who suffer from mama drama trauma. And so what we do is aspire to live in loving detachment. The acronym spells the suits and so a is acknowledged so the very first step is that we acknowledge that there's been some form of abandonment or abuse by the birth or surrogate mother you are feeling like you have been mistreated but at the same time you realize that there is a deeper meaning to the experience. You're not quite sure what that is. It's almost like you're waking up from a dream. It's almost like this soul energy that you're downloading from this Shivana energy has to do with what you treasure most being a disappointment, you being disappointed by it. Um, Someone that you love is not seeing you for who you are. You are not being acknowledged for who you are. The balsamic moon is what confirms that these are soul downloads. The balsamic moon period is right before the new moon period. So if you're watching this right before the new moon on the 15th, well then you are receiving actual downloads in your dream time. And also in your waking state, if you are paying attention to the signs and symbols in this deck, the lunar phases are symbols. And so the symbol of the balsamic moon is the download period. Uh, it's also root chakra symbol here in the corner, uh, the upper corner you see there in the circle. This is root chakra. And Saturn rules the root chakra. And... You may be experiencing some blockages as it relates to your root chakra, bones, joints, that's the Capricorn energy, rheumatism, arthritis, gallbladder, psoriasis maybe. Um, if those downloads are being blocked from the Capricorn moon, if on an emotional standpoint, of course, emotions is how the ego communicates to the soul. And emotionally, in the Western astrology, the ego, earth-oriented astrology, that's the emotion in Aquarius. Maybe there are some blockages in the ankles, the calves, circulation, cramps, spasms, maybe varicose veins. If you're experiencing any physical blockages with that, that's further confirmation of the uh, emotional blockage of perhaps acknowledging the abandonment or abuse. The shadow that's showing up is showing up so that you can transform into the Akhenaten Yang energy of doing you. Many times when we acknowledge abandonment or abuse, we take a beat in order to feel sorry for ourselves, in order to weep, in order to grieve a, a bit because it's painful that someone we love that we've entrusted our hearts to has hurt us. But Great Mother is saying that with this partial solar eclipse, Sagittarius Capricorn Moon people, the opportunity for you here lies with the energy of Akhenaten in the third quarter moon phase. The third quarter is all about release. It's all about letting go. It's all about forgiveness. And as we see here with all of the yin yang symbol cards, there is a law. And this here is the law of mystery and divine order. There is a mystery and divine order to mama drama trauma. Maybe you're experiencing daddy drama trauma. Maybe you're experiencing some other type of trauma that is a pattern in your life 
that you don't quite understand why it keeps occurring. Maybe you keep having the same type of relationship, attraction to someone. You don't quite know why. Sometimes things happen on a soul level to reconcile soul karma. And that is the law of mystery and divine order. We don't know why that's happening, but we are able to implement Yang energy and action to consciously acknowledge and accept that the abandonment and abuse exist. That's the transformational opportunity for you right now with the Saturnal energy that is also ever so present in your first house right now. This is your identity. This is something that's shaking the very root of who you are and who you think that you are. It's shaking the very root of your feelings of safety and security in the world. It's shaking the very foundation of how you stand with regard to how you see yourself, how you identify yourself, literally in terms of your feet, ankles, calves, bones, your physical structure, if this is something that has been going on for a prolonged period of time. And of course, with these moon readings, we pay very close attention to this eclipse season, which has to do with Leo in the North Node in the Western and Aquarius in the South Node in the Western, which is where the moon is right now. And so this is let go supportive energy for you. So there's supportive energy for you to let go of the pain, for you to let go of the blame, for you to let go of the disappointment. If you just consciously with that yang energy, use the transformational opportunity to do that, Sagittarius Capricorn Moon people. Great Mother's coming through and she's saying that with this Aquarius energy, okay, that's operating with you, that is very present with you um, in this first lunar house, you're going to... Um, I'm sorry, in, in the second lunar house and in your first lunar house with the Pisces, because that Pisces energy is where that emotion is, where that disappointment is, where that the feelings of deception are getting blocked with that Pisces energy that's coming at the cusp. And so that's first house energy that's kind of messing with you here and that identity that you have, maybe some panic attacks, maybe not being able to utilize the higher energy of Pisces to take a beat and to meditate so that you can surrender back into acceptance so that you can trust the universe again. Not everyone is out to get you. Not everyone is out to abandon you. Not everyone is out to hurt you. And even wh whoever did, be it mama, daddy, or whoever, they did it out of their own particular issues and not with yours. And so that's the law of mystery and divine order. It's a mystery. We don't always understand. And it's not important for us to understand anything other than we have the power, Yang symbol, to transform our own experience of it. But Great Mother does not want you to overlook Sagittarius Capricorn Moon people is that the self-doubt that you're experiencing right now is something that you can also consciously make a decision to act on and face the challenge in a way that you can now pursue what your genuine wants and needs are. Sometimes when we are in a situation of having to acknowledge abandonment or abuse, because we can get stuck in the grieving process, it's very difficult for us to see the blessings in it. And right now, Great Mother does not want you to overlook the fact that if you are frustrated with yourself for not being able to move forward and you're feeling it's because of self-doubt, then you can face that self-doubt by actually asking yourself what it is that you actually need to do and to be who you are today with the new awareness. The experience has taught you something. You have gained something from it. And how we know that is because this 
new moon is in your second house and so there's a value to it there is um, a building in fact on your identity the Sun is in Aquarius in both the Western and in the Vedic astrology and it's it, this is in your second house um, with your Capricorn moon sign having to do with your values and since it's a partial solar eclipse well then the Sun is not completely eclipsed and so this Aquarius south node energy again is still kind of shining through to support you in releasing these doubts that you have great mother knows that you are processing all of this right now and that maybe even hearing this as a confirmation of your experience may come as some a bit of a shock to you but in order for you to fully process it allow yourself to receive the soul downloads from your Sagittarius now some of you are also going to be Capricorn moon double check the links below what your Vedic moon sign is because for a fifth of you it's going to be the same if not it's in your third house if you're Sagittarius the, the Aquarius Sun in the sidereal and this has to do with the downloads that you're receiving third house communication the soul is communicating to you and so you're still processing what's going on with this law of mystery and divine order Sagittarius Capricorn moon people you're still trying to assess where you are with this and so don't feel like you have to move forward now you have to do something now a lot of times that Capricorn moon can really make us want to jump the gun and we have to do this and you know there has to be a logic to it and it has to be and that has its place but for what you're experiencing right now with this Saturnal energy that is present in your first house um, this is really calling on you to assess who you are and what you're about and that's why you feel unclear and uncertain about who you are and what you're about because this is the time that that's undergoing reassessment and in fact in the Sagittarius your soul uh, this Nakshatra Mool is ruled by K2. Not only is Sagittarius in K2, the South Node in Sidera, which is also on a soul level supporting you to release and to process what needs to be processed, but Mool, the Nakshatra, the star that governs this energy for this new moon is also. And it's an energy that's very unconventional. It's transformative. It's all about self-preservation. And so it's a matter of reallocating your energy in ways that best serve you. Okay, and you want to be sure that because you're refining and redefining who you are and what you're about, that you're allocating your energy in ways that you can respond to the unique sparks of inspiration that your soul is giving you. And this mule energy gets to the root of the situation. Yes, it has emotional swings and you're feeling that, uh, but it's soft on the inside. It's pliable. It's flexible. You know, it's the kind of Capricorn energy, that Sagittarius energy that's, you know, on that cusp, you know, and it is a very responsible energy and it's not afraid of being destroyed in order to be regenerated again. It's that rags to riches kind of energy and vice versa. You know, riches to rags, depending on how the energy is used, how it's allocated. So this is what Great Mother is sharing with you about what you're experiencing emotionally and intuitively right now. The shadow, um, that part that we would rather not discuss, uh, that therefore remains unspoken, unshared, it's an inconvenient truth, is Durga. And this is a new moon card, and so that has particular emphasis for your new moon reading. Durga is the new moon third chakra card. It is about boundaries. And so there are some boundaries that you ha either have not established, maintained, or defined for yourself. Boundaries are simply what's okay and what's not okay. And you already know in your gut. This card is the scene in The Wizard of Oz when Dorothy awakes from the twister dream, leaves the farmhouse and crosses the threshold into Munchkin land. That is what you're doing. You're leaving the farm. 
you've actually woken up from a dream you don't know what the dream was about you remember what was going on it was kind of crazy it was about home but it wasn't about home and some people that I knew and then this crazy witch was in there uh, but now I'm awake and I'm in a whole new world that's identity transformation that's using your wisdom that's being inspired by uh, innovative sparks from the soul that is this Venusian energy that is conjunct Pisces right now in the Nakshatra Shabisha that's all about loving to learn Dorothy was excited to enter Munchkin land. She was a bit apprehensive, but she didn't turn back and walk back into the house. You know, um, it is an energy that's all about healing. It's called the nakshatra of a hundred doctors. It's the nakshatra of healers. And so you can certainly heal yourself from this disappointment and from this self-doubt. You're certainly processing the situation in such a way that you are doing that. And Great Mother is coming through with further confirmation that as you heal, you also need to establish healthy boundaries with yourself. What are some areas in your life, speaking of Venus and it being for you right now in your third house, that communication needs to take place about what's okay and what's not okay with you? Where do you need to be firm? Where do you need to honor your inner circle that does love and respect you and does not abandon and abuse you. Maybe people in the past that you didn't pay very much attention to, now you realize they are your true friends, your true support. And it wasn't expected, but they kind of look like a scarecrow. Uh, my real friend is kind of a tin man, kind of weird. The one that's really down for me is really a lion with no courage, you know. And so a lot of times our true friends, the people that are really down for us, are people that we have not been conditioned to accept. We have not been taught to like. We have not been encouraged to befriend. These are the kind of boundaries that Great Mother is coming through. And she's saying that with this mercurial conjunction with the sun, Mercury is never too far away from the sun. And the nakshatra of Dhanisha, which is also what the sun is in, the sidereal, is all about, you know, this energy of the sun and Mercury working together with this first house energy, Saturn, and the second and third house energies of this Aquarius sun in the western and in the sidereal. And so we have one, two, three here. One, Saturn making sure that you're doing what you're here to do. You're surrendering to the process. That two, energy in Mercury with the soul downloads of what your true values are. And that three energy in the Western that has to do with communicating what those boundaries are. And opening yourself up to that Pisces energy in the third house of downloading soul communication. The heart is the crossroads between the ego and the soul. And so this is the heart chakra first quarter card that has to do with uh, action, decisions based on... Um, the ability to face challenges and so for you surrendering is a big challenge surrendering to your intuition I mean that sounds like uh, woo woo crazy stuff to Capricorn moon people who in all other aspects of your natal chart don't have a lot of support for the unseen for the subtle energies if you do more than likely, that's why you're watching this channel. You are more intuitive, more sensitive, more empathic. Then that's probably why Great Mother saying, particularly to you, you have the ability in this first quarter, fifth chakra card, to face the challenge. You have the power to release whatever needs to be released in order for you to face the challenge. So releasing whatever fears, releasing whatever self-doubts, making that choice and taking that action to face the challenge, to really assert your desires. The Ankh and the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck represents the second chakra, our desires, our true wants, to be able to face the challenge of speaking, throat chakra, your truth your boundaries, what is 
right for you and what is not right for you so others truly understand. The Finx card is the scene in The Wizard of Oz, so you can see that, when Dorothy's in the witch's castle and she sees Aunt Em in the crystal ball. And she's saying, Aunt Em, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, don't worry, I'm fine. And Aunt Em can't hear her and she just keeps calling Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Well, that's okay if they don't hear you. It's okay if they don't see you. What's important to Great Mother is that you release the need to be heard and to be seen on your terms because the most important thing is for you to face the challenge to see and hear yourself. Speak to yourself. Speak the truth to yourself. That's what Dorothy did. She realized Aunt Em couldn't hear her and she just said, you know, upon that realization almost to herself, I'm coming Aunt Em. She made that commitment to her internal self. I'm coming Aunt Em. I know you can't hear me, but I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay, where is it and for whom do you need to be there for? Great mother saying with this energy in your first, second, and third houses, you need to be there for you. You need to be there for your values. You need to be there to communicate what they are so people understand. Saturn is not going to leave you alone with this first house energy. For, you know, another, until November, I think. It's in, um, no, it's uh, for actually another year or so for you. Um, and so um, that's going to be a little while, you know, that you're going to be dealing with that energy. And so Great Mother's saying, release whatever it is that is not allowing you to face that challenge because that energy is with you to support that release. This is South Node energy. You are the South Node for us, Sagittarius Capricorn, for the planet right now. The planet right now is in Sagittarius K2 South Node in the Vedic and Capricorn in the Western. And so you are facilitating our release of energies in Sagittarius and Capricorn that no longer serve us. In order for you to facilitate this release for yourself and for others, Great Mother is saying that it's time for you to receive the support of Jesus. This is the yin card. This is the yin law card of the deck. And yin energy is the feminine energy. It's the receptive energy. And so it has to do with receiving. This is the law of soul guarding, guardian and guidance. Okay, and so soul guidance and a soul guardian is your eternal protection from anything that tries to come against your soul purpose for incarnation. And so you incarnated in your physical form for a specific evolutionary purpose. Now, it's a mystery as to what that is. That's, a, that's the law of mystery and divine order. We don't necessarily know what that is. But what we can do is take yang energy, the law of mist. We can enact the law of mystery and divine order. And you see the beauty of the yin-yang balance with that. The yang card is all about honoring great mother energy, the mystery. And the yin card is all about honoring great father energy, the law of soul guidance and guardianship. And so Great Mother is our guidance, but the protector is Great Father. So we have the balance here in your reading that has to do with energies that are supporting your acknowledgement of abandonment and abuse that has come at the hand or in a situation that you felt was on your side or that was providing emotional or physical security for you in your life in some way. Great Mother is saying that as you do this work to facilitate the release of those challenges to you being able to actually process and establish boundaries, speak your truth, and surrender to your soul unction, the outcome for you, Sagittarius Capricorn Moon people, is reward. You, if you already have not been rewarded by living these things that are confirmed for you right now, then through this reading, aren't you glad that you're watching? Because you are going to be rewarded. This is the third chakra, <clears throat> excuse me, waning gibbous moon card. This is the card, 
I'm sorry, this is the waxing giblets. This is building up to the full moon. So this would tell me that about a week before the full moon, if you aren't already receiving rewards for your faith, for your persistence and surrendering to your soul intuition and being obedient to what it's telling you about establishing new boundaries in order to be more perceptive of energies that do not support you and that could cause further abandonment and abuse and that you are trusting that you are protected even though you are operating on the law of mystery and divine order you're activating the consciousness to release self-doubt you're going to be rewarded. Now, the waxing gibbous moon is all about refining, defining, reevaluating, revising who you are and what you're about. Isn't that what the first, second, third house has been t talking about here? And you're going to be rewarded for the hard work in doing that. This is the card when Dorothy and the three return to Oz's castle and they bring the broom. And to their great chagrin, Oz has nothing for them except exactly what they need. He does not have what they want, a heart, a brain, or courage. But he does have exactly what they need in order to pursue their lives with integrity. And so your reward is going to be your ability to do that after what has been from all accounts of this reading a very tumultuous time for you and with Saturn pushing you to refine and define who you are isn't it wonderful to know that you won't have to wait long to be rewarded for all your hard work excellent this Aquarius sun is shining a light for you, even in the darkness of this new moon, in your third and second houses, to communicate your new values in ways that you are able to look at the shadows as they have been in your past, but recognize that you are facing the challenge to process them and to accept what is. That is what we call living and loving detachment at greatmotherspeaks.info. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking as you see fit. And remember, above all and most of all, Great Mother loves you, and I do too.